if they're truly over their back or not. Uh huh. Okay. So, but you really gotta, you know, you can't be timid. You have to. I know they're boring to practice, but they're good for her too. Like I always, and then I used to practice, and I used to always let her stretch like that at the end of a lesson or the yeah, end of a ride. Yeah, that's what we always do. Yep. But practice it a little bit and talk to Kim, you know, because you need to also practice. It's not just the stretching. It's the bringing her back up to the working trot. Yeah. You gotta practice how quick you can shorten your reins and get her back into her frame. Because remember, you don't have 13 circles to get her to stretch and get her to come back up. You have one. Yeah. And so you've got to, and she'll do it for you. You just have to learn how to do it, you know, right. yeah. with her. So. Because with like Lady, she just goes, mm -hmm. just Sure. Like, sure. Goes and she'll just take it like that. <laughs> And so I just usually, I'm one of those people who just drop it, and then she does it for me, basically. Sure. So, so but this horse, she I'm telling you, she gets eight to. and nine, she gets great scores on it. You just uh -huh. have to flex her and soft. Ride her exactly like you.